Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picked up here shortly after our last episode. Uh, well, actually, you know what? It actually hasn't been shortly after our last episode. It's been several days. Uh, not only in real life, having the weekend pass, but uh, also for our character, Del Mardell. It is now June 19th, which puts us after the, uh, the helicopter event. We had that the other day. Just open up our journal here. Helicopter happened yesterday, so it was 15 days from the previous helicopter. Lasted from 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., about four and a half hours. I have been very busy uh, working on skills. Been working on metalworking, mechanics, some tailoring. You can see we're up to level 6 tailoring now. Uh, a lot of clothes ripped up. I think I ended up with uh, 70 or 80 spools of thread, uh, of which we still have like 20 or 20 or 30 left. Uh, so we're going to continue working on some tailoring, uh, but right now we are on the verge of Mechanic 2. Just got to do a little bit more work here on this car, and then we're also on the verge of Metalworking 2. So we're going to be getting both of those uh, first thing today, uh, and then we'll be leveling up Short Blade as well very soon, because this is just around the corner as well. So let's pop the hood on this. I've got our car tools with us. We'll start the episode off with some level ups. And yeah, let's level up with maybe some headlights. Yeah, let's pop this open too. And we will now be able to hotwire any vehicle we need to. So there we go. As easy as that. One headlight. And <laughs> we're good to go. Okay. Let's um, head over to the laundromat next door. We can dismantle a dryer. Get our metalworking leveled up. And I have gotten our metalworking up without using any propane. There's our propane torch, still full. This is what we had found uh, over at the warehouse. Let's get our mask out too. Should be in our backpack. So as long as you have these two things in your inventory, you can go ahead and pick up uh, something that you want to dismantle. So if you usually would dismantle this, this would be uh, metalworking. You could dismantle it from the floor using your propane torch, or you can just pick it up, go into your inventory, find the item you want to dismantle, just dismantle from here says you need your propane torch and your mask, but uh, you're just going to dismantle it uh, by hand with your screwdriver. Or at least get the, uh, the screwdriver animation. I mean, it shows right there. Then once this is done, um, we can see that our propane torch won't have used any propane. So we've done now two levels of metalworking without using any propane. We found that out, or at least I found that out in the Tandle 10 years later series. I hadn't realized that before. So if you're ever in a playthrough where propane is short, low supply, just pick up the item you want to dismantle. It takes a little bit longer because you got to pick it up and then dismantle it, but it uh, definitely comes in handy. Okay. So let's put down our propane torch and mask for now because we're going to want to read the next book before we continue. Raise up some room, put a small metal sheet in there. And our car tools, let's actually put that back downstairs by the front door. So we'll need to reread that. Okay, so Metalworking leveled up, Mechanics leveled up. We'll have to read those two books, which I think we have. So Metalworking 2, Mechanics 2. Oh, I also brought over a couple new bookshelves here. So yeah, we have Metalworking 2 and we have Mechanics 2. Let's take both those. We'll bring them into the bedroom. Put those out reading take a quick look in our bathroom 
That's where I've been doing our tailoring. I got all the rip sheets here. Got 443 rip sheets, uh, 229 dirty rags. And then we've still got 26 spools of thread, 198 strips of leather. So I've upgraded our clothing. I mean, what clothing we are wearing. Although we do need a new set of gloves. Is ours have a hole in them? Uh, which I have patched, but we don't have the full protection there. So let's go ahead and remove all patches. Okay. Go ahead and rip those up. Go up here, grab a new pair. Inspect. Patch. Get another leather patch. There we go. And we'll drop that off. Uh, these ones are, ah, they're dirty, but we'll put them in there. Okay, so that's good to wear now. Our needle away. And we are good. Uh, weight wise, I'm also up to 80 now and gaining. So I've uh, done a few stews with some of our canned food, which we're now getting low on again. But weight wise, we're in a, a great position. Uh, we've got extra sleeping tablets here, it looks like, and painkillers. We could drop those off. Just clean up our inventory a bit. What do you guys keep in your backpacks? I know I always keep way more stuff than I need, but I like having everything that I could possibly need on me. Let's drop that too. And you know we got extra anti or antibiotics here. Let's drop those. And you know what? Extra antidepressants. We don't need that. Got two bandages. Let's drop this one. Okay. It's a bit better. Painkillers. Could probably fit those inside the fanny pack now. Needle. Nope. Alright, good enough. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's just read. It's gonna be more important. Probably mechanics. So yeah, I got all the mechanics. XP done just from working in the parking lot there. We'll continue doing that. Uh, helicopter went smoothly. Uh, no knocking at all. Um, I did have to go out and clear some zombies in the uh, the area after, but not too bad. Uh, today we're going to make a push. Well, we could go back to the warehouse or we could push north. Might be worth going back to the warehouse just to uh, grab a few things first. But I'm going to read this. We're going to get to sleep and we'll come back tomorrow, June 20th. Next morning here. Super foggy out. I have one more stew here, stale. Let's go ahead and eat that. Just to get rid of this hunger. Uh, we've stopped gaining weight. We'll see after this stew though. It might be gaining weight again. Yep, it's okay. We don't want to go too much higher. Maybe 82 would be the highest we want to go. But yeah, we finally made it to uh, to 80, two months, eight days in, almost two months, nine days. And we're approaching 7,000 kills. So um, when I said I had to clear some zombies, I, I cleared quite a few in between episodes. Uh, let's top up our water. We also had some rain recently, so our barrel has been topped up. All right, let's go out to Oh, it is very foggy out today. I got for loot bags back here. Okay, I still got some stuff to take in. Let's take that in. Just clean this up. We 
got two loot bags. That's that should be fine. I got two more upstairs I can bring down if I want. Oh, and obviously I've got more uh, storage in here now too. So, the space is filling up. Good on duct tape. I think we got like four rolls. Yeah, we got four rolls plus this half one. Uh, one of the machetes did break, so that needs to be repaired at some point. We've still got two more good ones. Yeah, there's the broken one right there. Hasn't been repaired yet. I got our sledgehammer up here too. I don't think I'm going to get rid of these stairs in this place. I don't think we really need to. Got a pretty good secure zone. Alright, so let's grab those. We'll do a good loot of the warehouse. As well bring the trailer and we could even go and hotwire that police car that we found last time one thing we do need to uh, keep an eye out for Delmer is a spiffle van spiffle man definitely needs a spiffle van you guys happen to see one that I miss or forget about Make sure you leave me a, a message down in the comments. Definitely want to roll around in that if we can. Wow, it is super foggy. This is the way in. Ah, it's a fire hydrant. Good job. Off to a great start. All right, which was the warehouse? Is it that one? Oh no, it was this one back here. No, I think it, that's a small one. I think it was up here, wasn't it? All right, well, let's throw those in there. And our first group of the day. Get that level 9 short blade. It's not going to take very long. We only had like 70 XP to go or something like that. There it is. One level away from maxing out short blade. Which I have. I mean, this is the furthest I've ever gone with short blade in build 41. I think I got up to like level 6 or 7 on a, uh, a live stream run once. The doctor, but. This is pretty cool. Maintenance is right around the corner. Fitness is right around the corner. We still have not done any exercises, just combat. So there we go. 6,900 kills. Not all with short blade, but majority to get to uh, level nine. Of course, with our 75% boost being a burger flipper. Still dismantling stuff. We're getting closer to level five. Oh, I also went around and dismantled almost all the fridges that were drawing off of our generator. I think there's just one left I gotta take care of somewhere. But uh, generator is using hardly any fuel now. 
So I've been thinking actually of just letting the generator run 24-7 so it can degrade in condition so we can repair it and get a big jump of uh, electrical XP that way. Alright, let's move up a bit. Oh yeah, this is the one. I wonder if it's like a guaranteed two hit kill now. No. Still occasional threes. Always, I'd assume we would see more two hit kills though. I did not think that we would be this high short blade skill before we even laid sight on the uh, the headquarters. It's come a lot faster than I anticipated. That's good for us. And some of you may have May have forgot what our initial purpose was with this run. It's just turned into a stab fest. But yes, of course, our purpose with Delmer is to get him down to the Spiffo headquarters downtown. Which is, oh, about five or so blocks away. Secure that as our main base of operations. Once we get there, we'll be farming and base building and uh, all that good stuff. So we're still really in phase one. Getting there. Phase two will be securing. And securing that general area downtown. And then phase three. Should Dilmer survive long enough. Our church is very excited for phase three. Phase three will be branching out to uh, scout the other Spiffo restaurant locations and securing those as well. Getting them back up and operational. Generators, making burgers. Pretty tall order. But Delmar's got a very specific set of skills now. That makes him a nightmare for apocalypses like this. Still a fair few in this area. Got another spear. Okay, good. We'll use that. I think we'll be clearing for a little bit before we can actually go in and loot. That's alright. Another hunting knife there. Pouring out of that area. Nice finish. All right, so let's get that hunting knife. Should be up in here somewhere. See the hilt of it there. 
dismantle these watches first. You know what? I'm gonna start grabbing these pencils, pens. Keep collecting our butter knives. Let's say we uh, once we hit level ten, we're gonna start using those crappier weapons. We may even start using some now. Level nine. All right, now the spear. What was that? There. That equipped. Fog starting to lift now, thankfully. Go spear at halfway ish. Okay. Well, let's. Get in here. Do another pass. We got the few that are hanging out. Right, let's get a loot bag. Should be able to just toss these in the back of the trailer. Do so we find that? Are those cruiser radio magazines? If we ever find them. Oh, will we be able to make a lot of makeshift radios? Nice. Alright, wood axe, more nails. Screwdriver. And axe seeds. Another screwdriver. We have like 30 screwdrivers. I should took a look the other day. I actually paid attention to how many we had gathered. It was a lot. I don't think we'll worry about moving crates right now. There's more than enough here to keep us going for a bit. Let's grab a trowel so we have it. This one's pretty much full. Um, I'll see if I fit in here something small. Where was that rope? Oh, there we go. Two more duct tape. Nice. Axe. All right, let's chop this one off. Fog is completely lifted now. Get the next one out. There it is. Axe. So we've picked up several axes. Quite a few duct tape too. What's that three wood axes now? Alright, 
corner's done. I think the middle sheets we can barricade uh, the spiffos once we get there. Another hand axe. I grab that guard now. We get back into long blunt at some time. Got some knocking somewhere. Pretty far away though, and just one. Yeah, this one's full. The last one out. Okay, we got a group down there to be mindful of. Ah, oh, it's a long blunt and short blunt weapons. Watering can. Got one of those now. Axe and a pickaxe. Alright, a few more are gathering up now. Okay. I like more than just one, but I think it is just one. Uh, the antique oven we'll come back for. Alright, yeah, they're at the back door there. I think there's three antique ovens in our area. There's one down that smaller warehouse too. There's still that back section to do. But that's good for right now. That's a lot of loot. Okay. So let's hop back inside the car for just a second so we can pull up our map. Because. I believe this was our spawn, right there. We've almost, you know, two and a half months later, we've almost made our way back to spawn. Pretty nuts, eh? All right, let's just clear in this area. Way down to the uh, cop car and get that hot wired. We'll probably hot wire this dart as well. That light footed though, hey? We can run right up to them and they hardly hear us. Let's see another meat cleaver there too. Oh, 
oftentimes I hear people uh, talking about, you know, what's the point of lightfoot and sneaking? No, I think that uh, goes to show. With another zero level character, they would have heard us coming from pretty far away. Alright, so we are going to have to pop this one. Right, we're going to bring the shotgun over for this. Okay, let's hold off on that then. I forgot about that. Once our current card dies, we can just swap out for this one. Assuming it'll need gas. Yeah. Battery's good, though. Is that the one I marked? I don't think so. This one's good to go. Hmm. Let's mark uh, flame up here too, since there's uh, another stove up there. So we got two, I think two up here and then one down here. Take our pick. No katanas yet. Maybe once we move into a new area, we'll get lucky. Propane over there, we gotta grab two at some point. It's another black dart. Try doing more foraging. We didn't really have that much luck. Another trash pile there, though, so. I'll attempt again here. Let's take off our helmet. Let's use the spear up. Anything in there? Glasses. All right, we got a few here. Concerned about preserving the spear. Just need the XP. It's served its purpose. We are 300 XP away from leveling up, and on fitness, we're 2,500. And it's getting pretty close. All right, do I even want to go out here? I don't know if we really need to go that far out.
If anything, we want to go north. Yeah, might as well search this area again. Go up to the other uh, warehouse north of here. Yeah, where this group's coming out of. Start clearing that out. This is another warehouse, but I wonder if it's gonna have as many crates as this one did. Broken. Let's bring out a few more. Push this area. position. Let's try and keep them all in front of us. Another spear. that. Alright, let's push this group here. Still working on sneaking too. It's really gone, uh, I feel like almost to the wayside since we maxed out Lightfooted though, hey? trash over here we could uh, do some foraging on.
Let's pull his fence. Pop our pill. Yeah, buddy. In and up. Man's a monster. I guess they're separate buildings. Um, we'll check look at both. It is a big warehouse. Hopefully there's a lot of crates in there. Oh no, it's an empty one. There are some crates. Was not expecting that. Almost fell around on top of us. Yeah, I literally jumped down right in front of us. Oh, I love this warehouse. Doesn't have much, but it gave us some machetes, so. It's fine in our books. It actually looks like it's the same layout as the uh, Muldra warehouse, hey? Just with uh, hardly any crates. Be a little bit, a little bit longer. This half back here, though, looks almost identical to the uh, Muldra warehouse. One upstairs, at least. Yeah. Now, are you stuck back there? I think so. Let's check upstairs. Getting kind of late. Maybe we can get a good view from the roof. Let's see what we're up against here. Should we could probably even uh Grind some sneaking up here. Oh yeah, that was our spawn right there. Crash doors open. That's where it started. Just over two months ago. How it started? How it's going. Apartments down there. 
Apparently we, that's where we drove down. <laughs> the broken cones. Okay. There's a construction store down there. Milk and more. What else we have? Yeah, we could definitely get some sneaking XP up here. Might even be worth coming back here just to uh, grind some of that out. Furniture. What does this say? Can't tell. Alright, well, we gotta get back. It's getting dark. It's getting very dark. But we can mark this one off. Let's say that's done too. I gotta say these are done. Actually, I don't think we saw that one. Did we? Maybe we did. All right, let's get out the flashlight, and I'm gonna go home. Get stuff dropped off. We have a lot of loot. We'll be back again in the morning. Uh, this time we will be pushing north. Next morning here, 9.20, June 21st. I'm not going to trailer. Everything has been dropped off. We are going to... Hold on. Everything has not been dropped off. Oh, we got another bag here. It's supposed to come from the uh, first base. Eh? So let's just drop this inside. We'll deal with that later. Just drop that. All right, we're going to take the car. We're going to head north. Uh, up to the next block up there. Taking the car just so we can loot a bit more before heading back again. So let's get that knife out. Let's get ready to pop a pill. Got our first group here. Should be able to manage this without a pill. For the last of our lentils and chickpeas last night. Get a couple more stews. So we need to find more food. We're good weight nice we uh, weight wise, we just gotta watch our hunger. Make sure we don't get too hungry during the day. Up. These two, then we're just gonna zip around the corner. I think we still have some units in these last two buildings to search too. But we'll worry about this first. All right, so that's our alley. And here we go. This is what we want to clear. Well, let's get this machete up for this. Careful, don't trip. Pulling some down from West. Making quick work of them.
push back into our neighborhood. Let's finish him up with a knife. Every passing episode, I am enjoying this build more and more. There's blades all day long. Swapping between machetes, hunting knives, meat cleavers. Once we can really get axes thrown into the mix. We're rolling. Might be about time to switch back to hand axes, hey? We've now that we've gathered a few extras. Let's get back up there. We might have to rest. Probably went through some energy with the machete there. Let me try and stop off in a house here. Okay, there it is. I was like, oh, we don't need to rest. We'll have our stew while we wait. Yeah, that right, is rested. And a smoke. Come back and take care of that. Really want to try and get to this next row of townhouses, though. I've been talking about it for a while. Beyond the fence. That's where we want to go. Beyond the fence. The Forbidden Territory. Another hunting knife. And another one. Now finding them faster than we can use them. Ooh, that's a lot up there. All bunched around that area. Let's go on foot for a little bit. I'll try to get into that building. I don't know why. It's just like a laundromat. So those apartments are obviously going to have a lot of zombies inside. That's a, that's a pretty big building, actually. How many floors is that? Four? Yeah. So that might take a while to get through. Okay, they're all coming out. Coming to us. Go back, machete. It's our long blade. Not quite halfway. Nicely spaced out here, though. A 
Oh, there, meat cleaver. Give me that. Might be time to go back to meat cleavers. We got a few of them now. The stocks have been replenished. Well, let's do that. I got like three on me. Yeah. Level nine meat cleaver. Show me what you got. It's pretty much a machete, eh? Almost as deadly as a machete. Screwdriver? What's that? Orc? No, kitchen knife. Hey, there's that wave, and here we go. That's where we want to get into. So let's pop another pill here. That's the goal over to the right. Start creeping back in there. Get away from the apartment buildings. Plenty of condition. So I'm hoping that these have a lot of food. Get us through another few weeks. Probably take care of that group before we go inside anywhere. It's a pretty big group. And there's a sizable group coming out of this house. Another hunting knife. Oh, starting to get tired. Fall back. Finish off this group, then we'll rest in the back corner here. Ooh, actually. You know what? Let's just jump the fence. Let's get inside somewhere and rest. 
Gotta be careful though, because there's still thumping going on here. My bedroom. There we go. Alright, let's rest up. And while we're resting, clean this up. Still plenty of condition there. Take another pill. back around oh big groups come down fill in that empty spot we've cleared out all right so we might not actually get into the building today but we'll make good progress on clearing the area for next time where the car is so we don't bump into that. Hey, another fire axe. Stop off the car, drop some of the stuff off. Set one of our loot bags up. And uh, we have crossed over 7,000 kills today. We're at 7290 today. So we've killed uh, quite a few, a few hundred. Jesus. I didn't realize it was that many. And look at that progress towards level 10. Short blade already. 1300 XP. Maintenance right around the corner. Fitness now within 2,000. All this stuff thrown in there. Need those pens or pencils. We're good. Oh man, okay. Uh, yeah, we're not getting into the house today. Uh, hey, we're emptying out this apartment, so that's good. I think Arcturus. So I guess too many, man. Be crazy.
I know, but Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it looked like it was getting pretty quiet there, but I guess anytime we clear out the parking lot, it's gonna entice more to come out to fill in the spots. Which overall, is a good thing. Just means we're clearing out the apartment without have, actually having to go inside it. By the time we do actually get to go in there, hopefully it'll be uh, relatively calm. Last rest, last push of the day. Seventy three twenty four. Actually, made surprisingly good progress towards strength seven two. We're almost halfway. Electrical closer and closer. Last push of the day. Our other option would be to approach from the east instead of this west entrance. Away from the... Actually, that probably would be the easier route. But we started in on this now. Who's that? It's probably a bread knife, right? That pink lady have something? It's sticking out of the middle of the chest. It's probably a bread knife. It couldn't be a katana, could it? I didn't see the profile. Just saw a pointy bit. We will take a look, though. Let's pick one up here. I don't think it is. Bread knife. God damn you, bread knives. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> I'll be all excited. Only saw for a brief second before she went down. We are tired again. We have laid waste to this street. In a short amount of time. 7361 for kills. So I'll watch around here somewhere. There we go. Silence once again. So, uh, empty parking lot again. Tomorrow, we make a push for the 
This iron house is just north of the fence line. And then eventually we'll get to search the uh, apartments too. So that does it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, some good progress today. We got leveled up in metalworking mechanics. We hotwired our first car. Uh, we will go back down to that police car at some point with the shotgun. Uh, break the window. Just have the shotgun just in case. Things get out of hand. We are so close to getting fitness level 6. That might be in the next couple episodes. Uh, we got our level 9 short blade and we're making tremendous progress already towards level 10. So at this speed that we're going, uh, we're going to have 10 definitely before 3 months I would say. What are we at right now for, for time? Yeah, 2 months, 10 days. We'll have it before 3 months. Uh, what else? Electronics around the corner as well. Once we have that, we'll be able to do the uh, battery connectors, I believe. We won't have to worry about the uh, the lamppost anymore. Slowly filling up again. Let me know your comments down below. Uh, yeah, what did you think of today's episode? We are just humming along right now. We're in a good groove. Uh, check us out on our live stream as well. We stream daily, probably Zomboid, if you need some more Zomboid content in your life. Uh, right here on YouTube, uh, usually starting around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can check out the Discord. That's where I post announcements uh, regarding the live stream. Discord link down in the description. And uh, we're over on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash Plays. All right, guys. That is it for today. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.